Hello and welcome to English channel. Uh, let's learn some English idioms. We are going to talk about the most interesting idioms in English language, about their origins and etymology. The first idiom is lame excuse. Excuse means when you have a reason to say sorry to somebody. So a lame excuse is a reason uh, which is lame. Lame means uh, baseless, okay, which has no ground, no strength, no legs. To stand upon you know it is famously said a lie has no legs to stand upon in the same way a lame excuse is a reason for not obeying someone and the reason is not genuine okay fake reason so lame excuse is actually no reason at all next idiom is leave no stone unturned when you're trying to do mining and trying to find out gold or diamonds from the under the earth you are trying to pick up the stone and remove the you know covers and trying to dig in and trying to find find the hidden treasures and you have left no stone unturned means uh, you have uh, moved all the stones in trying to find out the real treasure the hidden treasure when you have done everything to achieve something when you have left no other thing uh, which you have left undone when you have tried by all means it means yeah, you have left no stone unturned. You have done it in all ways. Lose ground. When two countries fight with each other and the victors uh, try to grab the land of the losers. So the country which is defeated, it loses ground. And the country which wins, uh, it also has this, an idiom to gain ground. So the victors gain ground, the losers lose ground. So whenever somebody loses something, he actually loses the ground. Lion's share. In the jungle, in the law of jungle, whenever an animal, any animal uh, does some hunting and brings, uh, you know, that hunting trophy uh, to the herd of animals, lion does not do hunting. So lion just uh, stands up tall and asks everyone that this is the big share which belongs to me. So set this big share aside and the rest belongs to you. So you may distribute it, um, uh, circulate it equally among yourselves. So the lion's share is the big share. Okay, lion is a big animal, powerful animal and the law of jungle rules there. So lion, uh, because of its authority and power, takes the bigger share. So whenever a person takes bigger share of property, he takes the lion's share. Okay, big share is equal to lion's share. Next idiom is in the teeth of. For example, a person has been caught by a crocodile. Okay, now the, the crocodile has that person in his teeth. It is feared that the person might die, and the crocodile might eat him. So, in the teeth of means when you are in the middle of the problem, when you are at the problem. Okay, hand in glove with. Whenever a culprit does some crime, uh, he usually wears gloves so that. Uh, his uh, fingerprints may not be uh, imprinted on something and prosecution might uh, cash him later on. So hand in glove with, with means you are part of some conspiracy. Have an axe to grind. Uh, Alexander Fleming's friend uh, made an axe and uh, Alexander Fleming visited his friend and he praised the axe and also um, asked him whether uh, Fleming should check this uh, axe and its quality and its effectiveness on uh, you know Alexander Fleming's friend uh, Alexander Fleming's friend uh, had a grind grinding machine so he had uh, done some grinding of his axe uh, Alexander Fleming visits his friend and says, Okay, why not I should bring my own axe to check the performance of your grinding machine. So in this way, uh, Fleming goes and brings his axe and gets it ground, uh, which means he uh, uses okay, uh, his friend as a cat's paw. Like he uses his friend's machine to get his own act done, to get his own um, uh, axe gr grind. Eye opener is something uh, whenever you get a shocking news, whenever you get a surprising news, your eyes open and that news is called an eye opener because it has opened your eyes. Draw a blank. Uh, when you try to throw the net into the water and try to catch the fish and 
the net cannot catch water or neither fish it just comes out blank to so draw a blank means when your net catches no fish which means when your your efforts uh, become fruitless and uh, they have brought you nothing i hope you learned these idioms and enjoy it and share with other friends keep uh, subscribing the channel press the bell icon see you in the next uh, video allah hafiz